Yo, what is going on? I hope you're doing fantastic. My name is Wavy, and today we're blackjacking the absolute easiest way. And all right, all right, I hate to be that guy, but only 5% of my viewers are subscribed. I'm grinding content for you guys every day. If you just hit that sub button, make my day. And once we hit a thousand subs, we're gonna start channel giveaways. All right, let's get into the video. So why do we want to blackjack? On our road to 99 thieving, blackjacking is actually going to be the absolute best XP until we hit 91. Specifically, when we're actually looking at the XP rates, at 45, we're going to attain 60k, 55, 100, and 65, 220,000 per hour. The only requirement to start blackjacking is partial completion of the feud quest up to the blackjacking section. Truly, to start blackjacking, all you really need is any blackjack, they all work the same, but additionally, I would recommend bring in the rogue's outfit for twice as much money, bring in GP to unnote our food or buy wines if you're an Ironman, a HPK for the two times health regen, and then we're gonna want a food that maintains this inventory slot after we eat it, and of course, a stack of that food noted. And once we have everything, your inventory should look a little like this. We are gonna be blackjacking in Paul of Niche, and you can use any magic carpet that you want to get here, Alternatively, we can create a tele tablet and we can do that by using a scroll of redirection on a POH teleport requiring 20 construction and then we just break it and we're there. Before we cover how to actually blackjack, I'm right here in the center of Paul of Nietzsche and we have the banknote exchange merchant. So we use our food noted on him and this will keep us supplied for the duration of our blackjacking trips. All right, let's get into how to actually blackjack. So we are going to want to have a bandit in one of these rooms. And if you hop worlds, you can probably find a bandit already in there. But if not, you're going to want to lure them and make sure they're not busy. And once they're willing to follow you, let's run into a room and then close the curtain behind you. And it's not essential, but the best position for the bandit to be in is one of these one tile areas where they cannot escape from. Once we are ready to start blackjacking, we're going to start by knocking out the bandit. And upon success, we're going to pickpocket twice, knock out again, repeat the cycle. If we fail, we're going to pickpocket quickly one time and then try again. If we slow it down and look closely, we start out with a knockout and we're going to pickpocket right away. When we see the XP drop for the pickpocket, we're going to go in for a second pickpocket. When we see the second XP drop, we are going to knock out again. And at full speed, it's going to end up looking like this. And once you get a hold of the rhythm, it's really not that bad. By having a full inventory, when we fail to pickpocket, we can instantly try again to reset his aggressiveness. You'll know you did it right when you receive this message in the chat, then you can start again. If at any point you mess this up, you can just go up and down the ladder. That will reset it. At level 65 thieving, we can now pickpocket the purple thugs, and for this we're going to head to the south of Paul of Nietzsche. Setting up the thugs is going to be the exact same as the bandits. We're going to want to lure a thug into a room and then begin blackjacking. It's going to be the same exact thing as before, nothing different here. It is also possible to de-aggro a bandit or a thug by speaking to them to lure in the same tick that they hit you. When you do it right, they'll, they won't be mad at you anymore. If you mess up and prefer to use a staircase, you can use this one that I'm running by. And if you're an Iron Man and you want to buy wines, the bartender here sells 13 per world. And last but not least, guys, if you are still having problems with your timing, we can go into room light and type in metronome and turn it on. Now, with the metronome on, every other beep that you hear, let's try and do an action. And just like that, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like that'd be amazing subscribe to see more content like this i'm uploading every single day for you guys hit the noti bell if you want to support me and yeah i'm up out of here guys thank you for watching later